Hey welcome guys so I have opened here Excel 2013 and now in this demo we're going to learn how we can mark a digital signature in our workbook okay so mark that we have to go in a file in info protect workbook and here is our option to add a digital signature in this workbook I'm going to click it and this pop-up will come to give you uh, permission to add a digital signature on your document so here if you will see here is a commitment type drop down menu so here are four options you can select any one of these based on your uh, requirement so here is a created and approved this document or approved this document or created this document so I'm just gonna select for this demo I'm going to select a uh, created and approve this document I'm gonna give a, a purpose as final check and here is a detail you know button you can click and give the details if you like like uh, s the the signer or role title so I'm gonna give a manager this is optional so you can give or not it's depend on you based on your requirement but if you would have a, a signature from uh, authorized authority then uh, you would be getting all this information because they check all the details and verify uh, those and then you know provide you the digital signature so here is a uh, uh, you know the type of digital signature that we have on this system and if you click on change you can see those signature which I already have so you can see here Google Facebook and uh, and Microsoft you know provided some of these so we can use that for our digital signature I'm gonna keep it the default one which we have and click on sign and we get this pop-up it it ensure that you the digital signature is successfully uh, you know signed and document is saved so I'm gonna click it and you would see these two uh, section are yellow it's mean that these two options are activated now and you see here a notification of marked as a final as we covered that in in our first demo of you know uh, our chapter so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna close it I'm gonna come back on that document open it and now you would see two notification here one is marked as final version and second is signature the signature would be that digital signature that you you marked on this document and to see if you know if someone else open this document and want to see this document then he can click on view signature and it will show you the date of the signature when it was marked and if you click on the drop down you can see here signature detail and view so this is a digital signature if you would get from authorized uh, authority then you will get that you know their details into that like this okay and here is the information of the the signer so I just type manager and left you know rest field blank and I would not be able to allow to you know make any changes into that because this is a uh, already marked as final to make any change again I have to go and click on edit anyway and I will get you know this pop-up and it would be saying that editing will remove the signature in this workbook do not do you want to continue so this ensure that you know uh, the security of the, your document if someone edited it signature will be removed and authentication will be lost so the signer would be you know would be able to know if someone already you know edited this document and this is a uh, not the the same version which he placed on you know shared network or you know hand it over to someone else so I'm gonna click yes it shows that signature has been removed and now see the signature notification and mark as final notification are gone and I'm able to make editing into that like that
so this how the digital signature works and there is a another way of you know signing a digital signature for that you have to go and click on insert and here is a text and here is a signature line I'm gonna click on uh, Microsoft Office signature line and in in the same way where you know uh, we got a pop-up in a detail where you can uh, you was able to give a signature name authority name and um, address city like that we can put you know details here as well so I'm gonna type here my name and my designation and my email address and any instruction if I like to you know give on that and here is a pop-up that you know allows signer to add comments so I don't need it at this uh, year for this demo I'm gonna skip it click OK and here you would see this uh, you know object created on this document and it is showing my name and my title so if I double click on it it allow me to add image on it so I'm gonna select the image you can select image from OneDrive you can find it online or you also can insert from Facebook or any other social network I'm gonna select on uh, from file from my desktop and I'm gonna select one so here we have added our image in our signature and we also can see the detail here and change the the signature as well so if I click on detail we get the same pop-up which we uh, you know got in a previous uh, method of you know adding a digital signature so I'm gonna skip this this time this and here the signatures I'm gonna skip this as well I'm gonna click on sign it is successfully signed and saved the document and here is the you can see that image is there my name title and uh, signature authority as well and here you would see it is a marked as a final so I'm gonna close this document I have opened it again and you can see I am a, I am again getting a two notification one is marked as final and second is signature and in the same way as we did in the, in the last method to edit this document I have to click on add it anyway yes it removed the signature and now I am able to make you know changes into that you would see here the, the if you see the signature notification is still on there you can click and see it is a no more signed this document is not signed you can see this message here and next time when you will close and open this document again you would not see this notification as well and don't forget to uh, you know select and delete this image otherwise the the signature notification will not go away so I'm gonna close this document and open it again to show you that how it works it will ask me if I want to save yes because I want to remove the signature notification from the my document I'm gonna click here and open the document again and here you would see there is a no mark as final notification neither the signature notification is visible anymore so I hope you enjoyed this video and please don't don't forget to uh, subscribe it on YouTube in next chapter of data integration we will learn about a uh, manager versions and track changes sharing and data validation thank you everyone for watching this